Welcome everyone, this is Christopher with InMotion Hosting. Today's Emacs project is getting help. Because as you're learning Emacs, you'll need a lot of help. At first, just moving around, opening and saving files. And then as you get more advanced, you'll want to take on more complicated projects. And along the way, you'll always need some kind of help, either in referencing different types of uh, manuals or Emacs functions and variables. And the great thing about Emacs is that it is very well documented. Just about everything you'll do has thousands of words of documentation. So how do we get help in Emacs? As you know, everything in Emacs starts right here on the splash screen. And as you get more advanced, you can customize your Emacs to not show a splash screen. But as you're just getting started, the splash screen can give you some helpful information. One thing that's very helpful when you're just getting started is the Emacs tutorial, which you can access just by clicking on it here, or you can do Control H and the letter T. The Emacs tutorial will teach you all the basics of getting started in Emacs and moving around. The next helper function I wish I had started using right away when I started using Emacs it is the describe key function. So basically, as you may already know, as you're going in and out of Emacs, there's thousands of key commands that you can do for various modes and to accomplish various things. Like if I wanted to open a new file, that's control X, control F on the keyboard. And that activates the find file function, which lets me put in a directory path to find a file. But what if there is a certain key command that you've just grown accustomed to punching in and you don't exactly know what it's doing on the back end? Well, the describe key function will tell you exactly that. So in order to open up that function, you just do control H and the letter K. So now you are prompted to describe the following key, mouse click or menu item. So let's do control XF, the find file uh, key command that I did before. You'll notice as soon as you've finished typing it, it will bring up this separate window here, and it'll describe everything about this function. It tells you that control X, control F runs the command find file. And it tells you uh, where that key command is saved in the, the global key map. And it even tells you which Lisp file the find file function is written in. So you can actually click and look at the file, the function uh, definition itself. So that is the describe key function. And you can also describe functions themselves. So let's say you're in the reverse situation, where instead of finding the name of a function, you know the exact name of a function, or at least you know approximately what the function starts with or what uh, the function consists of, but you want to find more information about it. You can do that with Control H and the F key. So now you're prompted to describe a function. So let's say I wanted to find that uh, find file function we were just looking at. I can just start typing it, find, and if you hit tab, you'll see some possible completions. These are all different functions that have the word find in them. Let's say I want find file, tab complete it, hit return, and now it tells me all of that helpful information about the function. It tells me uh, not only where that function is written, but it also tells me the key command I can use to invoke it, and all these other various options here. Now another very helpful function which I've been using a lot recently, will actually just open up the Emacs manual. Now, the Emacs manual has all the information about Emacs itself, and of course you can get there from the splash screen right here. But if you are working in another file, or, you're, or you don't have your splash screen coming up anymore, uh, the easiest way to get there is Control H and the letter R. 
and now you are in the Emacs editor manual. Every single aspect of the Emacs program is here for you to read about. And finally, if you just want to see a list of all of the other helper functions, the best way to get there is to do Control H and the question mark. So now you see here with the space key and the delete key, you can scroll up and down in this window. This is the meta help buffer here. And you can see all of the various keys listed on the left side here and on the right tells you what they do. And the letter Q will quit and you're back to where you were. So with that, today's Emacs project is complete. You know how to get help in Emacs for everything you need to do. Check out our InMotion Hosting Support Center for help with your website. We provide thousands of step-by-step -step guides, videos, and much more to lead you towards making your online project a successful one. You can find us at www.inmotionhosting.com support.